Good morning everyone. In our previous lesson, we learnt how oxygen reaches the cell from the lungs. Here in the cell, it would be used to break down glucose and produce energy. But the reaction is not that simple as we speak. It is actually a series of reactions. ATP is called energy currency because each mole gives around 30.5 kilojoules or around 7.3 kilocalories of energy. This energy is actually stored as chemical energy in form of phosphate bonds. When ATP turns back to ADP, that is the phosphate bond is broken, then the energy is released. So, the goal is to make that very important phosphate bond during the cellular respiration. The first part of cellular respiration actually takes place in the cytoplasm, not in the mitochondria. And it can occur with or without oxygen. So, you may guess that anaerobic organisms get energy through this process. It's called glycosis, literally meaning breaking down glucose. In this process, glucose, which is a 6-carbon sugar, is broken down into two molecules of 3-carbon pyruvate molecule. So glycolysis produces just two molecules of ATP from one molecule of glucose. If oxygen is available, pyruvate will be broken down into carbon dioxide through a complex process named Kerbs cycle. Huge energy is produced and stored during this long process which occurs in mitochondria. Sometimes when there is a lack of oxygen in our muscle cells, pyruvate is converted into lactic acid which is also a 3 carbon molecule. But this process produces much lesser energy than the aerobic respiration. You know, some organisms live in places where oxygen is not present. Some of these primitive organisms have not even evolved enough to have mitochondria. They partially break down the pyruvate to produce energy through the anaerobic respiration process. For example, in yeast, pyruvate is partially broken down into ethanol and carbon dioxide. Some organisms produce lactic acid from pyruvate similar to what happens in our muscles in the time of oxygen deficiency. So that was all about cellular respiration. Bye-bye.